Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine Tyler and I'm a 20 year old Berkeley college student currently living in Los Cabos, Mexico. In this video, I'm not just gonna show you everything I eat in a week, but I'm also gonna show you my workouts and how I eat dessert every day to feel my best. And I'm including a healthy dessert recipe for every single day like chocolate lava cake, Samoa cookie bars, vegan carrot cake with cashew frosting, healthy Reese's cups, banana bread muffins, and so much more. So relax, grab a snack, and enjoy this what I eat in a week. Hi guys, it's Jasmine Tyler and welcome back to my channel. And you already heard the introduction. In today's What I Eat in a Week, I'm gonna show you a healthy dessert recipe every single day. It's gonna be a fun time. And I just wanna show you how I live a realistic and balanced lifestyle where I do not restrict dessert. I went through an entire year where I wouldn't even allow myself to eat a cookie. And realizing now that treating myself every day and still accomplishing my fitness goals is the best way to live life is so illuminating. And I just wanna share that message with you guys. And I might have clickbaited you in the title because I do not like the term cheat day. I think it implies a negative connotation with dessert. I prefer to call it a treat day or just a balanced lifestyle in general. But I use the term cheat day because I want this video to reach people that currently have cheat days and maybe show them another point of view where dessert isn't a bad thing. Also, if cheat days work for you, that's great. I don't wanna force you to do anything. But in this What I Ate in a Week, I just wanna show you why I prefer to treat myself in moderation every single day as opposed to the traditional cheat day, which I find very restrictive. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. As soon as I woke up on Sunday, I was craving some banana bread. So I whipped up these chai banana bread muffins and added spices like cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg, which are perfect for the holidays. I love cooking with super simple natural ingredients because it makes me feel amazing, but does every dessert you eat have to be healthy? Absolutely not. But I will give a disclaimer and say that most of my diet is minimally processed because this is how I grew up eating. These videos, as always, are just for inspiration and remember that a healthy lifestyle looks different for everyone. And with that being said, Yes, I clickbaited you. Like I mentioned, I am not a fan of the term cheat day because it implies that treating yourself is a negative thing. I prefer to call it a treat day, and with this video, I just want to show you how I treat myself every day to find balance with food and exercise. My mentality is that life is way too short to not enjoy delicious food, and if you eat what you crave in moderation every single day, food will stop controlling your life and you'll learn how to treat yourself while also accomplishing your fitness goals. And lunch was some leftover beef stew, which I shared the recipe for in last week's What I in a week. And I also ate half a bag of chocolate cashews before I did an evening workout in my kitchen. Whatever your fitness goals are for 2021, whether it's losing weight, gaining weight, or just wanting to feel amazing, just remember that the process of accomplishing those fitness goals should be filled with joy. I'm not gonna lie to you, accomplishing your fitness goals will be challenging at times. But the most important thing is loving yourself throughout the entire process. Don't think that you're gonna be happier once you change the way you look. I fell into that trap last year, and when I was at my leanest and had super toned abs, I was also the least confident I'd ever been in my entire life. So just know that if you want to change the way you look, that's fine and that's your choice. But make sure that you appreciate and love yourself at the beginning and the end of your journey. Although of course, there's never really an end to fitness journeys because health is a lifestyle and you should ideally continue it for the rest of your life in a balanced way. And what do I mean by balanced? Basically, I mean that you should enjoy all the foods you want without restricting, exercise to feel good, and don't overdo it. Simply stated, just remember to enjoy life. Food and exercise should complement your life, but they shouldn't become an unhealthy obsession. And here I'm making a vegan dinner with super cute mushrooms, and I'm also air frying some tofu and steaming purple cabbage with zucchini. After chopping my veggies, I added them to the cabbage and then got started on a delicious creamy peanut sauce. You're gonna wanna eat this sauce with a spoon. I mixed ingredients like peanut butter, sriracha, maple syrup, and soy sauce, and then I poured that all over my plate, which I filled with brown rice noodles, air fried tofu, and the steamed vegetables. I'm not vegan, but it is my goal to eat at least one vegan meal a day because it helps my digestion, energy levels, and it's great for the environment too. And that leads me to a super exciting announcement. During the first full week of 2021, which starts on January 4th, I want to create a fun fitness challenge. I'll include all the details in the description, but basically I want to challenge you to go vegan for a week, bake lots of healthy desserts, and move your body for five days of that week. I hope you join me, and of course I'll vlog my entire journey too and post updates on Instagram and TikTok. And and for today's healthy dessert, I'm making a delicious vegan carrot cake plus creamy cashew frosting. The frosting uses cashew soaked in water for a few hours, which actually creates the most amazing frosting texture. You have to try it to believe it, but just know that this was life-changing. I ended up eating three big slices of this carrot cake
cake and my family finished it in one night because it was that good. And now we're on to day three, which is Tuesday. And I actually vlogged this entire day for a separate video, which I'll link down below. The reason I vlogged this day is because I went on a super fun road trip with my family to a place in Mexico called La Ventana. And we went bike riding, camped in this super cool glamping hotel. And of course I included lots of recipes like my new Santa's trash cookie, which is basically a loaded oatmeal cookie. So if you wanna watch this video and see what I ate on this day, you can check it out in the description box. And I think you'll really enjoy it because it's more of a chill and relaxing vlog where you get to know my family. And now we're on to day four, which is Wednesday. And of course I woke up in La Ventana and walked in the ocean as soon as I woke up. I chugged some water and then I walked to a local organic restaurant with my family called Nomada. I was a little bit sad because I think you can tell by now that I always start my day with a smoothie bowl, but life is all about enjoying different foods too. So I ordered some eggs and avocado toast and topped it with fig apple jam and this combination was heavenly. Then we relaxed for a few hours at the beach and drove back home. And guess what I had for lunch? Just guess. Yup, my everyday blueberry ice cream with brownie granola. I genuinely crave my smoothie bowls so much and I can't go a single day without them because I love them. Comment below if you also have a food that you eat absolutely every day. And for today's healthy recipe, I wanted to make something quick and easy, so I made my three ingredient chocolate fudge, which is just coconut oil, maple syrup, and cocoa powder. It's so easy to make and results in a super fudgy texture. I layered the fudge in a muffin tin, but you could also use cupcake liners. And I added fudge, a spoonful of peanut butter, which I mixed with pumpkin spice for some holiday vibes, and I topped it with more fudge before freezing it for 30 minutes. Then I popped these chocolate cups out and ended up eating four of them. There's a little Madison beer singing sesh, and for dinner, I heated up some vegan mac and cheese sauce that I had frozen from a few weeks ago. I'll include the recipe in the description, but it's basically just squash and potatoes blended with coconut milk, nutritional yeast, and spices. I love eating my pasta with canned tuna, which sounds weird, but it's a childhood meal that I always used to eat. So yeah, that was dinner. And now we're on to day five, which is Thursday. After two days of bike riding this week and one day of rest, I was really craving a fun Pilates session on the Reformer. I usually go twice a week to Pilates, but I skipped one session because I really wanted to enjoy our Tuesday camping trip without waking up early. Because remember, life is all about balance, and listening to your body when it's telling you that it would rather sleep in than work out is important. As soon as I got home, I made a batch of my brownie granola, which is the granola that I always put on top of my smoothie bowls. It's super clustery and genuinely tastes like a brownie, and I go through two to three batches each week. You have to try it. Of course, I added the fresh granola to my blueberry ice cream this day, and after eating breakfast, I started meal prepping a veggie frittata. Curries and frittatas are my favorite things to meal prep because I can make a big batch and eat leftovers throughout the week. Starting to meal prep is a great New Year's resolution because it's such a time saver, so if you don't meal prep yet, I definitely recommend it, especially for when you're busy with school. I ate two slices of this frittata for lunch, and usually I eat it with toast too, but I wasn't feeling too hungry today. As always, listening to your body when it comes to food is the most important thing. And since I mentioned that curries are another one of my favorite things to meal prep, I figured I'd make curry for dinner and show you how to make it. I just boil kabocha and butternut squash until soft, blend half of the squash to make it creamy, and add coconut milk, chickpeas, and curry spices. After that, you can customize the soup however you want, and I added frozen corn and spinach and continued cooking that until it thickened. You're gonna see me eat this curry a lot because like I said, meal prepping is such a time saver, and all I crave during winter is cozy soups anyways. I don't really crave cold salads during winter anyways, and that's okay. I had two bowls of curry for dinner and then got started on today's healthy recipe, which was chocolate lava cake. I think this is my favorite recipe of the week. They turned out so gooey and fluffy and yeah, just life changing and I inhaled the cake before filming myself trying it because it was that good. Now it's Friday, AKA Christmas and guess what? We're having a smoothie bowl for breakfast. I'll make an effort to include more cozy breakfast recipes next week but since the focus of this video is healthy desserts, I figured that for breakfast I'd eat whatever I was craving which is pretty much always blueberry and ice cream with brownie granola. Then it was time to open presents and look at how the sunlight created these super pretty colors in the camera. Our Christmas tree was set up in our outdoor movie theater so we opened our presence outside. <laughs> that was unexpected. Did I do good? Seva's presence included a ukulele and an electric guitar because he's a musician, and I was so happy because I got a bunch of Lush products, huge chocolate, and Brandy Melville clothes. Those are some of my favorite things in the world, and I was so happy. Thank you, Mom. And there's my dad talking to our extended family who live in Paraguay. On TikTok, someone asked me whether my family celebrates a traditional Christmas, and my answer is yes and no. I think that this year, the holidays look different for everyone. And for my family, sometimes we have a traditional Christmas dinner, and 
and other times we don't. What's most important for us is being together. And here I am fighting with the wind on the beach. Anyway, today we headed to the beach and I had a Christmas picnic of a frittata with blueberries and then I jumped in the freezing cold water. I mean, it's Mexico, so it's not freezing, but since I'm used to super warm water, 70 degrees is pretty cold. Here's my dad catching a wave and here's my dad and brother splitting a wave. My dad went right on the wave and my brother went left. Here's my brother Seva doing a little huapa and wait for it. Yeah, he kind of face planted. And finally, here's me catching a quick wave. trying my best. As soon as we got home, it was time for dessert number six of this week, which was a super moist gingerbread loaf. The flavor of cozy gingerbread spices with deep caramel molasses is heavenly, and it was the perfect way to warm up after surfing all day. I loaded this gingerbread with chocolate chips and walnuts, and while the loaf was baking, I heated up some leftover vegan curry with brown rice. Not a super traditional Christmas meal, but like I said, spending time with family is the most important thing to us, and we just ate whatever we felt like this day. After dinner, I sliced into the gingerbread, and I wish you could smell this. Vanilla, caramel, and warm gingerbread spices. Absolute heaven, and I ended up eating four slices. The chocolate chips made this so addicting, and this was another of my favorite recipes from this week. And now we're on to day seven, which is our last day of this what I eat in a week. It was Saturday, so I slept in until 10 and made, you guessed it, a smoothie bowl. But I changed it up and made a pink smoothie bowl by blending bananas, strawberries, almond milk, and cacao nibs, and it was so creamy and heavenly. Of course, I had to add brownie granola too, and on this day, the surf was still good, which is kind of unheard of for winter in Los Cabos. So I put on my bikini, and today's swimsuit is this dark blue pair from Summer Swim, which I discovered because Kendall Jenner always wears them, so I had to have them too. I prepared another beach picnic by packing leftover vegan curry and an egg frittata into Tupperwares. And I am so in love with eating lunch on the beach because it's so calming. Today was super windy, and I ended up not surfing. I just relaxed on the beach, read a book, and ate lots of delicious food. It was paradise, and here's a cute little puppy. After spending hours at the windy beach, all I was craving was chicken soup, so here's a Latin-inspired recipe which my dad said tasted super similar to a soup that he used to eat in Paraguay. The base of the soup is carrots, celery, onion, chicken, and blended tomatoes, and I also added potatoes and coconut milk after the soup had cooked down for a few hours. While I waited for dinner to be done, I did a fun total body workout. One of my goals for 2021 is to start posting full-length workouts on YouTube, so stay tuned for those. In this workout, first I did a 20-minute arm toning workout, a 10-minute ab workout, and finished off with a 20 minute leg workout for a total 50 minutes. Then I got started on dessert number seven of this week. <gasps> he reaches through here. My dad ruined that shot, but anyway, today's recipe was Samoa chickpea cookie bars. I promise you can't taste the chickpeas in this. I blended chickpeas with maple syrup, almond butter, coconut oil, and oats, and mixed in chocolate chips and coconut flakes into the batter. I baked it for 45 minutes, and it turned out like baked cookie dough. There's no other way to describe it because it's so fudgy and delicious, and it also tastes like a Samoa Girl Scout cookie. These are also vegan, and the canned chickpeas add lots of plant-based protein, which is awesome. So I'll definitely be making these blondies for my one-week vegan challenge in the new year. I ate half the pan of cookie bars and finished the day with two bowls of my chicken soup with brown rice. It was amazing and that's it for this what I ate in a week. We did it! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, please comment below what you thought of this video. Like and subscribe because it really helps my channel out. And I'm also so excited for the vegan challenge that I'm starting on January 4th, which is the first Monday of 2021. And of course, all the information is in the description box. It's just for fun, it's free, and it's something we can all do together in the new year to feel amazing. So I hope you guys will join me. Comment below if you're in. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And as always, I'll see you next Sunday with my next What I Ate in a Week. Love you.